final. Marconi versus Sydney Olympic. Robbie Hooker was the captain of that Sydney Olympic side. That won by two goals to nil. And Parramatta Stadium. A big task for him, looking for his first win as coach of the side. And it's an uphill battle. They've lost both games to start the season. A derby against Sydney FC in a record crowd season opener. And the Wellington Phoenix just the week after. A big opportunity at McDonald Jones Stadium today, which hosted Paul McCartney just two weeks ago. Alex Yun there returning from suspension. In game 52, no less. The Wanderers without Mel Caceres, who won stretch it off in that game against the Wellington Phoenix. She'll be out for eight to 12 weeks. Good news is though, no serious breaks for her. And a big opportunity for Millie Clegg there. Coming across the ditch. Her first game for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Can she be the tonic they need? Sophie Harding dropped down to the bench for this one in favour of the 18 year old. And we are underway in round three of the Liberty A League as the Newcastle Jets host the Western Sydney Wanderers here at McDonald Jones Stadium. A big opportunity, Newcastle looking for back-to-back -back home wins for the first time in four years and nine months and a ball lifted in an early start and a great save by the american isabel nino came out bravely as kush larue was breaking forward dundas lara gooch impressed in these early stages of the season here is that opportunity Great ball by Beth Gordon and Kush LaRue. Brave off the line from the former Michigan Wolverine in Isabel Nino. Lara Gooch has started the season brilliantly. Two big scoring chances created. Only Melbourne City's Holly McNamara has had more with four. Campbell Johnson here in commentary. 10 play in Paramount Plus. Claudia Chico, another former Wellington Phoenix player, along with Kush LaRue. A few out there today. Danica Matos holding down the fort in that left back position. A fairly stable defence so far this season for. The Western Sydney Wanderers personnel-wise, fairly consistent. Apostolakis in it right back. Matty McComiskey. And Vicky Bruce is the central pairing. And Danica Matos in at left fullback. The Newcastle Jets. And they've had a bit of instability in their defence already this season. Alex Yun getting red carded for a scuffle in the F3 derby to open the season. Seeing a red card there. Here's Lauren Allen who's been so good for the Jets over the last few years. And Newcastle, while well, they'll be looking to improve on last year, they conceded 53 goals in their 18 games, the worst of any side in the competition. You hope it can only get better. A big challenge from Liv Price in the midfield. Goal scorer from last year's meeting. One of them at least. And Lorena Bowman, the Swiss international, drawing the foul for the Jets. A good opportunity for Liv Price. It was so consistent for them last year. A good bit of build-up play this time from the Jets. And Libby Copas Brown against her former side today. 
Former Western Sydney Wanderers player, now with, in her second stint with the Jets. First played for Newcastle as a 16-year-old. And has now returned to Australia as Millie Clegg with a good opportunity. And Malia Morris almost following in, but Alex Shun alert to the danger at the back post. Brilliant against her former side. Played 31 games for Western Sydney. Did Alex Shun alert to the danger and saves her side. Malia Morris, the American at the back post. Lurking is Davis. Her achievement simply can't be understated. 132 straight games. Ten years without missing a game. Truly extraordinary and unheard of all across the world. Someone who has truly come to represent what the Newcastle Jets are, what they want to be as well. Good delivery out wide from Nino. Just can't be brought in by Lorena Bowman. The Swiss who represented her nation under 17 and under 19 level before making her senior bow in 2019. Vicky Bruce with that captain's armband. A good leader in this side, very vocal on and off the pitch. Football has truly taken her all over the globe, Vicky Bruce. He's played in Scotland, USA, England, Denmark, Iceland, Cyprus, Sweden, Germany, and now Australia. So truly around the world for the American. Here's Pryor, what a story she is. Back to football after retiring. After some concussion scares. Very serious head injuries. Had five concussions in less than six seasons before deciding to retire at the age of 21. And in a game for Canberra United against Sydney just a few years ago, was unconscious for more than four minutes. A time that she says she thought she was dead. Great to see her back out there. I said that the World Cup on home soil inspired her to make a return to football. Hopefully a safe one too. That's a brilliant ball forward. Can Lauren Allen get there? It is a foot race between her and Matty McComiskey, who takes no chances. He's been a mainstay of this defence this season, Matty McComiskey. After coming over from Canberra United in the off-season. Missed the second of the double-header today. As it's wedged into the box. Wanderers unable to clear for the moment. They do so in the end. Kush LaRue getting back to defend. Malia Morris with a searching ball forward. Nino is prior. Pitch starting to look a little bit worse for wet. And I think you can forgive it after hosting a Beatle less than two weeks ago and a double header today on a wet day too, must be said, as it's won back by Malia Morris. And that ball in behind for Millie Clegg, but just a little bit too narrow. And a new look front line for the Western Sydney Wanderers today. That front two preferred. Robbie Hooker realising things aren't going as swimmingly as they want. 
or as they expected. Forced to make changes personnel-wise and as well tactically. And he's done so today. Is Chisari. Great ball in behind, out wide for Kush LaRue. Towards the back post, and Isabel Nino hangs on the American. Alert to that ball across the face from Kush LaRue. A big opportunity for her today. Out wide for the Jets, end to end stuff at McDonald Jones Stadium. Vicky Bruce able to clear Chisari under pressure from Lorena Bowman is Dundas Gooch Gordon able to cut it out but not maintain possession Copas Brown tidy player returning from England with Luz FC whipped in by Chico Lauren Allen able to maintain possession is Davis Threaded through for Allen towards that back post. McComiskey clearing for the Wanderers. Davis keeps it alive, but it is cleared. A frantic start here in Newcastle. A great ball forward. And Shem Karmas. Bit of friendly fire from Danica Matos. But she does well to hang on to it. Will get assistance though. Lauren Allen making plenty of runs down that right-hand side. Was found really well. A challenging ball, and Danica Matos just colliding with her goalkeeper. Sham Karmas in game 60, given the start after Kaylee Collins, their regular number one to start the season. Picked up a knock in training, and... Well, you hope it's not the same here. Just catching a stray boot from a defender. They do have Keely Sekovic on the bench, but looks like she will be okay. Sham Karmas. Doesn't look to be anything too serious, thankfully. Just getting some treatment from her physios and a lively start here in Newcastle it must be said and with any head collision there's always a concussion protocol tests initially just to make sure everything's above board She will be okay to continue. Newcastle, well, it may only be 12 minutes in, but 87.5%. Western Sydney with just 12 and a half. A truly staggering amount of the ball for Newcastle. And staggeringly little for the Western Sydney Wanderers. You'd hope for Robbie Hooker and his side that starts to level out. across the course of the game. There's worrying signs if it does continue. Here's Apostolakis. There's also an exciting name on the bench for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Isha Brooking. There's the ball in behind for Malia Morris. And a little bit of a stumble from Isabel Nino on the slippery track. And she's not made to pay for it. Isha Brooking, 14 years of age in their last game. Talia Eunice became the youngest ever A-Leagues player. At 14 years of age as well. And Iskia Brooking potentially with one as well as... Andy Barbieri is making that run in behind. Risky from the Wanderers, but the offside flag does go up. And a brilliant ball in behind. Mindy Barbieri 
Just couldn't quite track it down. The offside flag does go up, though. He's here brooking. Big opportunity for the youngster, potentially, if she does come off the bench. 14 years, 347 days. Would break the record for the youngest ever A-Leagues player. Just one game after her teammate, Talia Yunus. It would be simply staggering. If Western Sydney Wanderers can break the record just one game after they break Sam Kerr's Natalia Yunus short-lived for her whether that will be will come to fruition is yet to be seen free kick opportunity for Wanderers they can't make anything of it though Natalia Yunus not in the squad today Might be watching from home saying, let me hold on to that record just a little bit longer. Could be eclipsed by 13 days. As it were, a big collision there. Lorena Bowman. Hang on to the head there. And push LaRue down. And a bit of claret coming from the head of Lorena Bowman as well. A heavy collision to the heads there going straight down and they will both have to be looked at especially Lorena Bowman with a bit of blood coming from the head push LaRue back on her feet at least but they will both have to have a check and you heard the reaction from the crowd as it came up on the big screen push LaRue with a massive egg on the side of her head there Hopefully both players okay. Really solid collision there. And the Swiss international just with a split. We'll have a look at it once more. Both players just coming together in the air. And hopefully not a concussion for either of them. They both were relatively quick to get up off their feet. Whether this will force either side into a change, you have to think it may do, at least for Kush LaRue. That egg was quite golf ball sized, even bigger. And hopefully, it's nothing more sinister. Nothing sinister. Both players going for the ball and just blown up straight away. Marina Bowman, and it looks like Amy Harrison will come on. Maybe a little bit earlier than they wanted to make a change, but their number seven and Matilda. A lot would argue marquee player. Amy Harrison with an early entry. She got 15 minutes off or 16 minutes off, but she now comes on and Push LaRue's day comes to an end with that collision. Marina Bowman will continue though. Will she have to get her head strapped a la Terry Butcher? Looks like the bleeding has stopped, but she regains the captain's armband. Amy Harrison, short lived captaincy for Vicky Bruce. And one, I'm sure they can have a chuckle over. Neither player stumbling or looking like they had a concussion initially which is good news the main thing and whether it forces Newcastle into making a change as well we are yet to see we just have to have those checks done off the pitch and we can get back underway at McDonald Jones Stadium. Amy Harrison straight into the action with the free kick on her side. Harrison, not quite the loft she was looking for. 
Price with the strike and into the arms of Isabel Nino. Who should go first time? Fortunately for her, not enough power. Couldn't find either corner as well. Olivia Price. With the first time strike. Enough ferocity though. Is Chico. Maybe another Falcon for her. But play goes on. Barbieri. Curling ball into the box now. And Shankarmas. Off her line quickly. Harrison. Sliding into that central area straight away. Is Pryor. A lively start here in Newcastle. It's been a while since they've played at this ground. The Jets. Hey, Jay! Where is that one? On Claudia Chico just hey, shot right up on. into the schnoz. Good to see her. Carrying on. Nothing serious. Claudia Chico. Talented young player. She's 19 years of age. She's been a part of young Matilda's training camps. And there it is, the head strapping for Lorena Bowman. She continues. And I mentioned Terry Butcher. That's pretty spot on. Less blood at the moment, though. Hopefully it stays that way. Tune. Able to clear only into Millie Clegg. And they do get the throw in from it. Here is Clegg. Price does very well to evade the defence. Gordon headed out of play by Alex Hewitt. Deals with the danger. There will be a corner for the Wanderers. A great return for Alex Hewitt. Game 50 today. Spent three seasons in the A-League women's before spending time in Europe. As the ball towards the back post, not enough. Venom on the cross, not enough direction. Just got a little bit too much under it. Didn't force any real problems. Of the Jets, now a good ball, Leah Morris. Perhaps believing she was offside. Oh, just gave up on the chase. Looked very lively in their game against the Wellington Phoenix. Did Malia Morris. And a not ideal restart for the Jets. Straight out of play from Isabel Nino. It's one back by Chisari. Morris having a strike at... A tough angle. And can't find the target as a result. Very hard to force it on goal from that kind of position. Bowman back into the action. Interested to see how she continues. Dundas. Turning down that wing. Dispossessed by Apostolakis. Does very well. Gets past Davis too. Threading it through for Clegg. Will look to go around Nino, brought down and saved from the American. Good early signs from Millie Clegg. Tried to go for goal, perhaps should have tried to go around it or draw a penalty. That's really good play from Apostolakis. Threaded through it, just tried to go first time. And perhaps. Better options, Apostolakis to take the corner now. Lifted towards the back post and right underneath. Isabel Dino, once again, a less than ideal corner from the Wanderers. Here's Harrison. What an end-to-end -end start it is to this game. 23 minutes gone, Campbell Johnson here in commentary. 
They've already had one change made by the Wanderers. Danica Matos headed away by Hune, only as far as Price. Here's Apostolakis, first time cross up into the air by Hune. And he's cleared by Cass Davis in game 132. Vicky Bruce with a speculative effort. Trying to make something happen for her team. Yet to score this season, the Wanderers. And they're down by Sydney. And down by Wellington. By three goals against the Knicks. They did get back to back wins after defeating the Brisbane Raw this weekend. A great start to the season for the Wellington Phoenix and for Paul Temple another side with their third coach in as many years so proof that it can work early days of course but Wellington a new side Lara Gooch not happy with it Wellington a side that have improved year on year and is this the season they can make their mark? Here's Kamas. Tough for Matos, but heads it back centrally. Libby Copas Brown, a great addition to this side. One back by Gordon. Malia Morris threading it through. Back for a number 32. Just can't win the foot race with Claudia Chico. Two players who have played against each other many a time in the New South Wales MPL women's Malia Morris with a clean pair of heels. They can't evade the pressure. Claudia Chico. Plenty of time playing with Apia Leichhardt. And Beth Gordon with the MacArthur Rams. He did win New South Wales MPL Women's. And Beth Gordon, another player up against her former side, is with the Jets. last season but the season before that now in her second campaign with the Wanderers previously with Canberra United as well that's a good ball Lily Clegg looking to make that run in behind just didn't quite have the distance plenty of crossover between these two sides Beth Gordon with 11 matches for the Jets as that's a good ball in but no one with that run into the middle, Millie Clegg doing plenty early in this game. Lorena Bowman goes down. Harrison fizzed into the feet of Amy Chisari. Gordon intercepted well by Copas Brown. Castle just struggling to exit their defense. Copas Brown. He's looking for Lauren Allen. Just too much power. And the through ball for it. Had a really good season last year. Did Lauren Allen really cementing herself? And be looking to do the same this year. No Molina airs today for the hosts. A big loss for them. Their off-season acquisition from Melbourne Victory. As Copas Brown finding a good patch of grass and can't find Mindy Barbieri filling that central role by the looks of things. In the absence of Molina airs. Copas Brown. 
someone to find an option in the middle, just putting it straight out of play. And Mindy Barbieri has to act as that focal point today. They're really lacking their marquee number nine. And number 14 as she wears in game. Marina Rez. Big reason why many fans had hope for them this season. Scored on debut in that F3 derby win to open the season. a good run from Gooch threaded through for Barbieri still alive Lorena Bowman and just a bit flat-footed Barbieri perhaps thinking she was offside there decided not to pursue and then there is Skia Brooking a big opportunity for her today History could be made just a few short days or short weeks after it was made already at Combank Stadium. Will they pull the trigger? They've already been forced to make one change today. Have the Wanderers, it was a strong run by Lara Gooch and the same here from Amy Harrison. Can't find a teammate though, comes to nothing for the Wanderers. Gooch does very well to draw the foul. Looked great in her debut campaign last year and has followed that up as the Jets try to take a quick free kick and can't do so. It's drawn back by Caitlin Williams. And this is great from Lara Gooch, controlled well. And Amy Chisari just hacking at the heels of Lara Gooch. Is that a promising start to this campaign too? As the 18-year-old. Big opportunity for her to have a breakout season, no doubt. And the ball now for the Jets towards that back post. Vicky Bruce and Beth Gordon clearing for the Wanderers. Is Davis. Dundas headed down by McComiskey. Harrison wanting that run from Millie Clegg does find it in the end. The young 18 year old football fern is Price trying to deliver into the box, but just no run in the middle there. All the Wanderers was not a bad ball. But the Wanderers just struggling to get forwards in the right areas at the moment. Danica Matos with a crucial intervention there. Here's Allen. Has the overlap from Chico. And they will get a throw in from it. The Jets. Still having plenty of the possession. Newcastle and offside is the call on Claudia Chico just receiving it back from that throw in must have been tight though on Claudia Chico Lino with a great view of it and whether she just gets back on I'm not entirely confident in that call from the lines operator the assistant there looked like she'd got back by quite some distance. Either way, no protest from the Newcastle Jets players. And an interesting call here at McDonald Jones Stadium. And remember, Dub Zone is on tonight from 8:30 p.m. So make sure you tune into that one on the Keep Up YouTube channel. The panel will dissect the whole weekend and weeks of Liberty A-League action. 
and everything happening in the world of women's football. Neve Owens, Tao Pelletzeri, Theresa Polias and Kath Canooley on the panel tonight. What a panel that is. We'll dissect all the big talking points from the week, so make sure you tune in from 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time tonight, every Sunday. The magazine show, tune in. It's a great ball forward for Malia Morris and Alex Hune. What a sensational performance so far today. Still early doors, but really making a difference back from suspension. Chico. Here with no particular intent. Here's Harrison. Does well to evade Dundas. Matos. Getting it back centrally. Pressure for Cass Davis. And either side. Able to hang on to possession for too long at the moment. And the foul is drawn by Dundas. Manny McComiskey giving it away. As you see on the replay, just brought down too physical from the former Canberra player. Miss Hune. Davis picked it up well out wide now for Lauren Allen. A good opportunity and Champ Karmas sweeping for the Wanderers. Does very well off her line. Proactive goalkeeping and grabbing her opportunity with both hands. Champ Karmas. It was a great ball and a great run. And if not for Sham Karmas, well, it might be 1-0 Newcastle. Here's Davis. One back by Morris. Did very well, the American. Forward ball. Looking for Millie Clegg. Just a little bit aimless. From the former Orlando Pride player. Here's Chico. Driving forward. In an advanced area, the fullback. Allen, first time towards the near post. Claudia Chico going down in the box, as does Beth Gordon. Both players slow to get up. Here's Allen, marked by Matos. And perhaps just a stray arm from Claudia Chico. Good first touch by Davis. Just a little bit too heavy, though. Ash Pryor playing that sweeping role at the back for Newcastle very well in her return to football. Bowman brought down and the foul given on Olivia Price. Just getting a talking to from Caitlin Williams as well. Just dragged her down in that moment. Tugging on the shirt, well drawn by Lorena Bowman. Showing her experience. Plenty of games in Europe, mainly in her homeland. Of Switzerland. Barbieri standing over the free kick. It's in a good area to deliver. And able and willing runners for Newcastle. Can they make something happen here? Barbieri. Lofting it towards the back post and Sham Karmas strong. Strong from Sham Karmas. Two players down. Vicky Bruce. And Tash Pryor as well. Hopefully, not another clash of heads. And thankfully, Tash Pryor's up and about with her concussion history. Tash Pryor.
getting up and he's okay. Vicky Bruce, on the other hand, still down, clutching onto what looks like her ribs. Potentially that one in the back from Alex Hume. And perhaps just a little bit winded, and it is a clash of heads. Vicky Bruce, the second player today to have split her head open. Quite a bizarre situation here at McDonald Jones Stadium. Maybe it's her nose, just having a look on the replay. Did she cop an elbow to the face? Went straight to hold on to it. And it looks like it is the nose of Vicky Bruce, the American. Tash Pryor up and about, but we'll have another look at it on the replay. Looks like it could be Sham Karmis actually, just coming across a bit of friendly fire to claim the ball in. Plenty of blood streaming from the American. And a chance for both sides with just over five minutes till the halftime break. To have a chance, there'll be plenty of injury time, of course, both for the injuries and head collisions that have happened in this first half. Both sides with plenty to do. Newcastle at the moment controlling the play. And Vicky Bruce, and is that, that knows if you have to have it plugged up, perhaps. She's the man style, even if you've seen the famous movie. And it's not good news at the moment. For Western Sydney, they've already had Kush LaRue go off after the first head collision. And that bleeding making it more of the home. Strip for the Wanderers. For Vicky Bruce. Both sides with about 50% passing accuracy in that final third. Struggling to make those incisive balls count. And it looks as though Vicky Bruce will be able to continue to rejoin the play. Here's Harrison. Apostolakis. A great run forward by Malia Morris. And Alex Hune sweeping as she has done all afternoon. Lorraine holding off. Here in Newcastle, thankfully. Amy Harrison picking up that central role in the absence of Bruce. Here's Harrison. Good ball over the top. And rushed play from Isabel Nino. Isn't made to pay for it though. Apostolakis. Nino retreating back to her goal. Harrison, first time, looking for Liv Price. Davis. Here's Hume. Copas Brown. A touch on its way through from Beth Gordon. Nicky Bruce still yet to return. Perhaps getting that nose looked after and Millie Clegg in the final third now. Ball across the face and held on to by Isabel Nino. Was closed down really well. Millie Clegg by the defender, Claudia Chico. And those forwards just switching sides at the moment. Chico did very well. The ball in behind now. Harrison pleading for the offside and does get it. After all, a 
Barbieri just struggling to assert herself in open play. Bit of a utility player over the years. Playing in a variety of roles. Across her clubs she's played at. She was at Adelaide United last year. And victory before that. Lauren Allen in behind, and the flag once more going up on that near touchline. Offside is the call on Lauren Allen. The rain holding off on the moment the lights are on here at McDonald's Jones Stadium Vicky Bruce getting ready to come on after getting that treatment plugged up the nose Vicky Bruce stemming the flow and she's stemmed the Newcastle Jets attack so far in this game. Harrison. Good turn by Price, cleared. Seven minutes to be added on here in Newcastle in this first half two. Injury stoppages. First a head collision. Then Vicky Bruce's blood nose, but she does return. Great to see. The walking wounded out there at the moment. Lorena Bowman and Vicky Bruce. They play on. Dundas trying to get inside of Price. Does very well. Lifted over the top by Lara Gooch. Can't find a teammate though. The 18 year old. Morris trying to meet it in the air, just couldn't quite do so. Hune. It's Chico. One well by Beth Gordon. And a bit of an argument. Beth Gordon not happy with the way it's going. Showing her fire to win it back though. Nino. The energy picking up from Beth Gordon after that decision in these final five or so minutes. Down the line from Matos. Morris keeping it in play. Only for Claudia Chico to take it back and send the Jets the other way. It's a good run from Gooch. Can she get ahead of McComiskey? Lara Gooch, one well by McComiskey, does so well to get it back. And it's drawn back. Perhaps for a foul from Gooch on McComiskey. It was a really smart run on the inside from Lara Gooch and it's just that moment there that foul from Lara Gooch a little bit soft perhaps either way Wanderers will be happy and a very smart run from the 18 year old Lara Gooch Andy Barbieri dropping into connect play Perhaps more needed in that central role. Looks like Gooch and Lauren Allen are happy playing those more central positions at the moment. Chico with the throw in.
Collision there. Copers Brown and Beth Gordon just on the shin pad. And Beth Gordon well and truly wears it here. Just connect connected strongly to Libby Copers Brown. And no doubt got a talking to from Caitlin Williams. Beth Gordon back into the action. Oh, she's a very good trainer. Follows her instructions to the tee. Beth Gordon. Davis holds onto the ball so well, evading the pressure. Hewn. Davis, the captain. Chico. Allen. Marked by Matos. Chico back with it. Lauren Allen just slipping over on the turf. It's had a, a lot of a big workout recently. The ball now for Carmison. The flag did go up just for the foul. Deemed perhaps not enough advantage by the officials, but they got away, got the ball in, and I think that's what Beth Gordon is, is complaining about. There's the foul. Flag goes up. Play on. And it's pulled back. I think a fair protest from Beth Gordon. Either way. Barbieri once more to stand over the free kick. Basically a corner from where it's placed. Can the Jets conjure something here? Barbieri. Sham Kamis coming out and holding on very strong. A great performance from her so far today. Resolute, strong in the air too. Here's Harrison. One back by Davis. Collision there between Matos and Allen, and the foul is given against Lauren Allen. Whether it was 50 50 in the air, she's not overly happy about it. Lauren Allen. Matos certainly did come off second best, however. Bruce trying to go first time. It's one back by Amy Harrison. Skips around one, one by Copas Brown. Now an opportunity for the Jets. Here's Gooch, a good turn, striking but blocked by Beth Gordon. Allen gets it back after a stray touch from Amy Harrison. Malia Morris, shoulder to shoulder. Chico does very well, showing her strength. Bowman. Stoppage time expiring. Can Jets get one before half time? Barbieri. Here's Bowman. Gooch under pressure from Millie Clegg. And that is half time. Here at McDonald Jones Stadium, a fiery first half in Newcastle. Bodies flying everywhere. Neither side able to make a breakthrough. And a tough first half in the Hunter. Plenty to do in the second half for both of these sides as Newcastle Jets seek back-to-back -back home wins for the first time. In 1,737 days at halftime, it is Newcastle Jets nil, Western Sydney nil. Back to back home wins for the first time in 1,737 days. Neither side able to make a break through the Jets, yet to have a single shot in this game. Hopefully, 
They give their fans something to cheer about. There was only one nil-all draw last season. And it did involve the Western Sydney Wanderers back in January against Melbourne victory. Will they repeat that feat? It took quite a while for it to happen last year. Could be sooner. There was plenty of action in the first half, though, despite no goals as of yet. Mainly on the collisions side of things, Lorena Bowman and Kush LaRue colliding in that first half, ending Kush LaRue's day. A big egg on her head, and as you can see, Lorena Bowman there with the strapping around the head. Vicky Bruce as well had to leave the game momentarily. Having a bit of blood coming from her nose, but the main talking point of today, Cass Davis in game 132, the most capped Newcastle Jets player in the Liberty A League, taking over Tara Andrews' record today. She's now played in 71.35% of Newcastle's Liberty A League games, are simply staggering feat can she mark it with a win a big second half to come here at mcdonald jones stadium the second of the double header the men is playing out a 2-2 draw just beforehand a desmond 2-2 bit cold for beth gordon Hopefully only just a matter of time before she can warm up. <laughs> She'll no doubt be running her little socks off to start it as we are underway in this second half between the Newcastle Jets and the Western Sydney Wanderers. A big opportunity for both sides. Western Sydney looking for their first win of the campaign. And Newcastle, after winning round one in the F3 derby, looking to get back to winning ways. Here's Gooch driving towards the box now. It's won by Chisari, struggling to evade the pressure. Does so, though. Morris, Milly Clegg, after turning 18 earlier this week, finally eligible to play for a new club. Isabel Nino, with a bit to do in that first half, but not overly troubled. It must be said, Western Sydney still searching for their first goal of the campaign. What a moment it would be if they could manage to do so in today's game. Get themselves off the foot of the ladder. And offside is the call. It's quite uncharacteristic of this matchup, which has had plenty of goals in the past. There's never been less than three goals scored in a game in this fixture when Newcastle are the home side. 29 goals across seven games the Jets have hosted in this fixture. So it's a big second half coming up. Millie Clegg to get things started. A save from Isabel Nino. And the New Zealand youngster with a lively start to this first half. Here is that chance. Chisari, a great ball forward. Clegg just holding off Alex Hewn. And if only Millie Clegg had put it further to Isabel Nino's right-hand side. Could be looking at an opener. Now, well, never been less than three goals when Newcastle are hosting. Looks like we may have a three-goal second half based on how history has provided us. Zero shots for Newcastle. Symptomatic of their lack of a number nine with Molina Ayres. Their star recruit 
out of action with a hip injury. Should be back next week though, but really struggling in her absence. Can they overcome that in this second half? Amy Barbieri in that number nine role at the moment. She proved herself today. Bowman is Gooch. Driving past Apostolakis, who does very well to defend. And get her side a throw in. Great defense from the youngster. He's already played so many games at a young age. Apostolakis. We marked Bowman very well. An opportunity, Dundas. Took too long to deliver the cross there. Does get it back though. And a shaky start from both sides is Marina Bowman going down. A heavy challenge from Liv Price. And here it is. Bowman just going past Liv Price, the nutmeg. It's been a fiery game so far here in Newcastle. No cards as of yet, though. Barbieri standing over the free kick. Looking to deliver towards a teammate. Barbieri towards that near post. Hume just couldn't quite steer it goal bound. And Amy Harrison does very well to settle things for her side. Here's Bowman, quick throw in down the line towards Gooch. Marked by two Wanderers players. And Apostolakis does oh so well. Nine fouls in total. Five the way of the Wanderers. Nino in a tough position. Does clear her lines though, and it did go out of bounds. Before Lorena Bowman could hit it back in. Sides have never played out a scoreless draw. Will today be the first time? Here's Davis. Barbieri. Hune clearing, but. Slipping over. Here's Harrison. Bruce, great through ball. Picked up by Matos towards that back post. Malia Morris just can't settle herself underneath it. And it bears no fruit for the Wanderers. Arguably one of their best passages of the day. And it allows the Jets to reset. Good switch of play from Tash Pryor. Copas Brown over the top for Lauren Allen. First time ball into the middle. Barbieri shouts of a handball and given. It was a good opportunity for the Jets. A good bit of build up play on the break. And just thwarted by the foul, or the handball, I should say, in the box there. Apostolakis, great ball for Clegg. Isabel Nino equal to it. Clegg still down, just clutching onto the hamstring. Hopefully nothing too serious for the 18-year-old. Here's Bowman. Uh, 
intercepted by Dundas. Not too much going ahead of her. Here's Allen. Copas Brown. Threaded through. Looking for Lauren Allen. He does get the last touch on it. And here is that chance from Millie Clegg. Isabel Nino off her line bravely. Does very well. Just to shut down the play. Millie Clegg still down though. She got back up. But now she's on halfway. Her first appearance for the club. And hopefully this isn't the way it ends. Her former teammate at the Wellington Phoenix, Claudia Chico, just came over to check up on her. See if she was okay. And she looked to immediately hang on to that hamstring. Sophie Harding getting ready as well. I'm sure she'd love to come on against her former club. Puts the jacket back on though. Still getting warm. Made her debut in the Liberty A-League for the Jets in 2020. Did Sophie Harding. Wouldn't she love a goal against her former employer? Millie Clegg. Such a promising talent. And it looks like they will make the change. Sophie Harding coming on. Against her former club. And 25 appearances for the Jets, scoring two goals. And after turning 18 earlier in the week, Millie Clegg, this isn't the birthday present she was after in her first game for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Hopefully nothing too major for the young football fern start. And hopefully she won't be out for long. And now Sophie Harding with the opportunity to get one up on her former club. Can she do it? Chance for her to stake her claim for a starting spot as well. Started in their last game against the Phoenix. Looking down to the bench today. Lauren Allen, tough to handle for her. Relatively like for like change. Clegg for Harding, perhaps a little bit more pace from Millie Clegg. As you can see, just at the near side of your screen. They're just prepping a little bit of ice for her. She's up on her feet at the very least. They're prepping some ice to chuck on that hammy as Hewn does very well, not quite well enough. Sophie Harding off the bench. Held on to by Isabel Nino. And Alex Hewn with some scrambling defense for her side. He's had a great game, Alex Hume. And one cap, Matilda. 29 years of age now. Switch. From the Jets, Lauren Allen takes a touch, puts it forward, and Vicky Bruce not taking any chances. Here is that opportunity from Sophie Harding, just caught up a little bit under herself and couldn't quite get it in a good position to strike it with some true power. Getting a little bit sloppy on that far side for the moment. A free kick going the way of the Wanderers. Bruce. Great ball forward for Harding and to the rescue. And she has done all evening. Alex Hewn. Adapting straight back to life in the Liberty A-League. Here's Matos. 
Gets it on that right boot. Put down, Harding. Lorena Bowman getting a touch. Morris. Toss the Larkus. Neither side really implementing a clear style of play at the moment. Neither side looking to play any particular brand of football as it seems. And isn't that indicative of how the game's playing out at the minute? A foul here. Manny McComiskey just pulling down Lorena Bowman. It's a good ball for Gooch. Marked up by Apostolakis. Delivering, it's a good ball. Headed away by Vicky Bruce. Beth Gordon, bit of contact in the back. From Lauren Allen, advantage paid. But they don't gain too much out of it. Here's Gooch. Apostolakis has done very well to keep her quiet today. Heavy contact, shoulder to shoulder between Amy Harrison and Dundas. She doesn't like it. The Matilda, Amy Harrison, pleading her case. As we look back at it on the replay, just into the back of Emma Dundas there. And the youngster draws the foul, the 12th of the game. set pieces be the difference between these two sides on a wet day in Newcastle can errors spring up Barbieri standing over it for the Jets towards that back post Jam Kamis not troubled was able to collect it so many times in that first half without making a save as well she'll be happy with her day at the office so far Here's Davis. Morris. Run back well by the Jets. Hume does excellently just to shield off the oncoming Sophie Harding. Here's Nino. Newcastle controlling play at the moment. 55.3% of possession. Nothing to show for it, though. Here's Bowman. Amy Harrison willing her side forward. It's won back very well by Bowman. And another foul given away by Amy Harrison. She's asking for more movement from her teammates. You can see her just looking up there, wanting that runner in the middle. And after the play breaks down, she's just needing more from her side. Here's Barbieri. Plenty of traffic down this right-hand side so far today. Lauren Allen with plenty of joy, but no reward. Here's Chico. With the throw in. Barbieri. Just tried to lay it off for Libby Copas Brown. He's had plenty of touches, but fairly quiet. Today has Copas Brown. As have both sides. In all fairness, in the attacking sense, nine total shots for the Wanderers to none for the Jets. So getting in those areas, not making the most of it. The Wanderers, it's been typical of their season so far. And the Jets really missing Molina Ayres tonight. Can they overcome that? in this final half hour. All 
So the opportunity for history off the bench in his ski up brooking. 14 years old. The record for the youngest ever Liberty A-League player was set in their previous game by Talia Yunus. There will be one change made. Malia Morris makes way. The American fairly busy, albeit quiet night. And Holly Caspers, the former Cambria United player, coming on. Two new forwards up front for the Wanderers. Can they make their mark? Big opportunity for both of them is Dundas. That's a touch from Price on the way through. Bowman. Great throw in to the channel. Chico. Good run from Copas Brown. Just goes out of play. Allowing the Wanderers to reset. There is Holly Caspers. Now on the park for the Wanderers. Good layoff from Allen. Same from Copas Brown. Punted in. First time edge of the box. Mindy Barbieri stinging the palms of Sham Karmas in their first shot on target of the day. Their first shot as a whole. And Sham Karmas stands tall and resolute for her side. Now an opportunity from range from Mindy Barbieri. Two shots in short succession. It fell. And hit well by Mindy Barbieri, but there's no fruit. Emma Dundas does well to lay it off. And Mindy Barbieri with her club's first shot of the night. Can't steer it goal bound. Can't open the scoring. And it is a good save, a fairly point blank range from Sham Karmas came into it very quickly as the strike that time from Sophie Harding. Definitely stung the palms of Sham Karmas. Milan Hammond getting ready to come on. Seven shots on target for the Wanderers. Yet to make a really big save or force a really big save out of Isabel Nino. And that just there, just the one from the Jets. Is Matos able to win it back off Chico going down. The foul given against Claudia Chico. Over 12 fouls now. And no yellow cards to be seen. Matos did well just to win it back and draw the foul of Claudia Chico. Beth Gordon and Amy Harrison just discussing the plan of attack. Beth Gordon scored her first Liberty A League goal last year against the Brisbane Raw, scored a brace in that game. Ball's in a good position. A tall keeper, Isabel Nino. And she be beaten. 15 fouls in the game. Gordon lifting towards Vicky Bruce. And it was in a great area. But the offside flag perhaps going up on Vicky Bruce either way. The Newcastle defence just melted away. Milan Hammond. A debut for her, a former Perth youngster. With her Liberty A-League debut, 19 years of age. And there it is, the offside flag just went up. By the looks of things. And a big opportunity for 19-year-old Melon Hammond.
Davis to take the restart. Bowman. This is a great run from Dundas. Just that final ball lacking from both sides at the moment. He's Harding. First touch prior, a foot race. The flag going up once more. A foul perhaps this time. Cash prior. Perhaps thankful. And Sophie Harding can't forge an opportunity. 20 minutes to play here at McDonald Jones Stadium, the second of a double header, of course. Cleared by Vicky Bruce with some authority, too. Now, the opportunity for the Wanderers and cut out very well by Alex Yoon. Was a nice bit of build up play, the interplay as well from the Wanderers players. Nice one touch, two touch football. Much better from Robbie Hooker's side. Starting to imprint perhaps his identity on his team. Bowman in for that. Ball for Gooch. It was cut out very well by McComiskey. Is Hammond just caught up at her feet? The ball forward, cut out by Tash Pryor. He's had a quiet day, but probably what you want as a central defender. Fairly quiet, nothing of note. Doing very well, though. Aaron Allen. Can't get past Mickey Bruce or Amy Harrison as it is on that occasion. Here's Bowman. Makes a touch, delivering. It's a good ball. And Sham Khan is once again claiming. Sophie Harding. Can't bring it down, was just trying to flick it on. Despite there being no teammates in a more advanced position. Western Sydney yet to record a point so far this year. Two losses on the trot. If you're searching for positives for either side, that could just be it. still looking to bounce back from their loss against Perth Glory. Susan Fonsong Cam putting them to the sword in that game. Matos towards that near post and skipped up a little bit but into the arms of Isabel Nino who goes down on the turf. Just that area not quite in you know, a six yard area but between that and the 18 yard box just a little bit Worse for wear at the moment. That's a good ball from Allen. Dundas giving away the foul on Apostolakis. He's had a really solid game as part of that back four. Karmas giving away possession. He's headed down. By Lauren Allen and they're not forced to pay. Is Dundas. Gooch making a good run in behind. Here is Lara Gooch. Vicky Bruce coming across too. And Sophie Harding able to clear. It's getting tense in the middle of the park now. Davis with a body check of Beth Gordon, but the Wanderers come away with it. Holly Casper's drifting 
into an offside position as the flag goes up to the plays allowed to continue here's Allen driving forward gets past Amy Harrison Gooch back for Allen just can't link up the play it was good from Lauren Allen and how about this Cass Davis bang in game 132 on Beth Gordon big collision showing every bit of that 132 game experience Davis heading it back in the direction her side wants it prior handball there from Sophie Harding just sticking out her elbow here's Hume just slipping up a little bit was Claudia Chico Hune under pressure from the Wanderers players Chico they play out of it very well the Jets here's Hammond driving down the wing the 19 year old on debut just hitting the woodwork in the most bizarre cross was looking for a teammate and almost got a nervy moment out of Sham Karmas was just driving towards the byline looking for a teammate and just kept curling eventually hitting that crossbar good early signs from the 19 year old Iskia Brooking warming up on the near touchline we we'll see a bit of history tonight here's Davis in game 132 just slicing it wide wouldn't she love to mark her milestone game with a goal is Copas Brown dinked over the Wanderers defense Iskia Brooking was just warming up Here's Davis Chico Davis does well just to evade keeps it in play her team can't make anything of it despite the calls for a foul Apostolakis Apostolakis believing it came off Lauren Allen last there is that shout for a foul Holly Caspers a little bit physical with the veteran is Bowman Jim Karmis alert to the danger as he has been all night long Josh Pryor able to clear his Gooch driving forward can she get it back off Jasari does very well and draws the foul a strong start to the season for Amy Jasari it's been a mainstay of this Wanderers midfield and here it is just wins the ball back and Lara Gooch with the splits there a player down Danika Matos just holding on to her head there whether it's just a bit of a tough collision in the air seen a bit of that tonight luckily nothing serious at the moment for Danika Matos just a little bit of a stinger and here is that incident just across the hip from Milan Hammond on debut just hanging on Danika Matos just a tough collision hip and shoulder 21 fouls in this game so far 10 minutes to go 
Lofted in now towards Vicky Bruce. And she gets the Wanderers' first goal of the season. The American who wore the captain's armband at the start of the game. They could be on their way to their first win of the campaign. Vicky Bruce with her first Liberty A-League goal. It's lifted in beautifully and flicked on. Finds the corner. And the Wanderers have the lead. What a moment for Vicky Bruce. Has been all over the world with football. Has played in some massive competitions. And she gets her first goal in the Liberty A-League. Well, now it won't be a scoreless draw. They only had one last year. We don't have one today. The Wanderers lead. Vicky Bruce, I mentioned earlier, could the set pieces be the key in a game? That is KG. And it turns out it's the difference maker at the moment, the Jets. Have to get one back. And time is running out. Gooch, first time touch. Inside, can it be one back? They did make a change there. The Jets, Rebecca Burrows on. Great ball down the line for Bowman, but it did just go out of play. A yellow card show. To another substitute. And Sophie Hoban, who came on, they made a double change. After that goal, did the Jets, Rebecca Burrows. And Sophie Hoban coming on. And straight away, a yellow card for it. Let's have a look at what the issue is here. Entirely sure. Let's have a listen in here. Bit of confusion there. Caitlin Williams believing the ball had gone out of play. Bit of protest, Gary Van Egmond letting his feelings be known. Perhaps the yellow card rescinded. Wanting an answer though. And Gary Van Egmond. And a puzzling one at McDonald Jones Stadium. Here is Hoban now. Gordon, headed away by Hume. Chisari. Hoban. Great moment for her, her first Liberty A League game and her first involvement, though. Perhaps a yellow card. And it might just be one of the quickest we've ever seen at that. Here's Bruce. Hoban. Hoban and Hardy. In a good battle there momentarily. Here's Karmas. Almost giving away possession. Good press. And Lara Gooch. Here's Burrows. Gooch, can the Jets get one? Ah, can they get level? Gooch doing very well, a lively game from her. And it 
did take a touch off Lara Gooch last. And eventually it is called up. It did come off her foot just before going out of play. And losing a little bit of control at the moment. It must be said, are ah, the officiating team. Let's have a look here. Just coming off Lara Gooch's boot. Hopefully able to regain the normality of the game. That's a great ball forward for Holly Caspers if the flag stays down. Holly Caspers trying to tee it up for Beth Gordon. Can't manage to do so. And it's great defence. And a foul here. Caspers brought down. Claudia Chico there. And fire it into the game. Holly Caspers will see a yellow card for that one, rightly so. It was a great ball forward and a great run. What an intervention that is from Claudia Chico. They get back up on their feet, shoulder to shoulder, and just brought down. Frustration, perhaps late in this game. Nino, brought down brilliantly by Amy Chisari. Great control from the youngster. Just 18 years of age. Looking right at home in the Liberty A-League. Starting week in, week out. Here's Gooch. Cuts inside, driving inside too. And Bit of a funny one for Amy Chisari. Stopped the ball and went straight down. Whether it's cramp or perhaps a funny motion, you don't like to see it, especially in such an innocuous manner. Jets not putting the ball out of play. It has to be called up soon. A tough one in this scenario. The Jets down and it will go out of play eventually. And you heard the shouts from Robbie Hooker, stay down, stay down. They're just trying to chew up the minutes. Perhaps just getting a little bit twisted in the turf on that right boot, Amy Chisari. As we have a look back on the replay, yep, just that overturning of that right boot. She'll get some attention. And that right ankle in a little bit of pain for Amy Chisari. Will this force them into making some history? The Western Sydney Wanderers, their only remaining outfield substitute. Iskia Brooking, just 14 years of age. They had Talia Yunus, the 14-year-old debut in their previous game. They had to get an exemption. Will they be forced to do the same? here doesn't look in too much of a hurry it's Iskia Brooking Amy Chisari looks like she'll be able to continue the 18 year old just testing it out looks like she will be able to continue thankfully And Karmas gets us back underway. A little bit of time added on in this second half. Perhaps not as much as the first, though. Here's Gordon. Seven minutes added on in the first stanza. One back very well by Hammond. Burrows. Edge of the box for her. Copas Brown. Fakes. Goes past Matos. Delivering towards the near post. And Sham Karmas, happy to lie down on it. It was a good bit of play from Libby Copas Brown, who's otherwise had a relatively quiet night so far. This is really good from Copas Brown towards that near post. Burrows dancing around the pressure. It's Hune.
in Bowman. In behind for Hammond. Trying to cut it back towards the edge of the box where Libby Copas Brown was waiting. Bowman, Davis, Ash Bryant, happy to see it away, not too long left in this one, has to be now for the Jets. And the stats sheet pretty dominant. And the Western Sydney Wanderers, 11 shots. Just one goal to show for it. And probably not a true reflection of how the game's played out. Postalark is just going down after sending the ball forward. And limping up, able to continue. Sixteen years of age. Alexia Apostolakis. Heavy collision. Between Hammond and McComiskey. As they chew up the minutes to the Western Sydney Wanderers. Caitlin Williams just trying to hurry them on. Six minutes added on here at McDonald Jones Stadium. A heavy collision between McComiskey and Hammond. And the Western Sydney Wanderers just happy to chew up any minutes they can if they can get their first win of the season. That's great from Pryor. Stops the ball in its tracks. Restarts things for the Jets. Is Bowman inside, gets past Price. Bowman still. Apostolak is heading it down. Amy Harrison surrounded by three gold shirts. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Iskia Brooking, the 14-year-old, just to, at least to slow the game down, if nothing else, to give a promising young player some game time. Perhaps not the game you want to be doing it in, though. And just 1-1 one, one as Hammond takes a touch. Not the one she wanted, though. Cass Davis in game one, 32! <laughs> Poetic! Now, the Jets' all-time appearance maker in the Liberty A-League. It was meant to be. Gets the goal in her 132nd game. Written by the football gods, then level. And out of the top draw, no less. Set up beautifully and curled into that top left corner. The stuff of dreams for their captain. It's 1-1. Harding, can they get straight back? Gordon can't steer at goal bound. And what an instant reply that would have been. Wow. Cass Davis take a bow. Only scored her first goal last season. The longest drought. And now gets her second. And <laughs> it just had to be in game 132. She sits at top of the Newcastle Jets women's appearances. And what a way to mark it. It could only get better with the win for her side. But time is waning. Not now, no. And perhaps a moment of history to boot here at McDonald Jones Stadium. Iskia Brooking. Getting ready to come on. Just 14 years of age. 
14 years, 347 days old from Perth. Harrison and Gordon standing over it. Gordon into the box, headed down by Tash Pryor. Can the Jets form a counter? Gooch. Copas Brown in space. Is marked by Matos, the rise of the crowd. And offside might be Millen Hammond. Couldn't control it either way, and it was offside. And a change to be made, and a moment of history. Talia Yunus came on last game against the Wellington Phoenix to become the youngest ever A-Leagues player. And just one game after, Iskia Brooking at 14 years and 347 days is the new youngest ever A-Leagues player. They had to get an exemption to play her and she beats Talia Yunus's record by just a matter of days. There's a new youngster at the top of the list for the Wanderers and for the league. And it is Iskia Brooking. Born in 2008. Talia Yunus was the youngest player. She was the first player to be born after the league started to play in it. And now Iskia Brooking is the second. When she was born, Hot and Cold by Katy Perry was charting. The first Twilight film was top at the box office. And now an opportunity for the Jets. Falls for Gooch once more. Blocked. Shouts of a handball not given. And well, hasn't this game just come to life? in the dying embers. He's Bowman, the ball in, headed down. Hammond, and a foul by Sophie Harding, and it goes the way of Western Sydney. And a bizarre one once more, and it has been changed. Just getting a little bit mixed up for the officiating team. And it is, in fact, a Newcastle free kick. And it very well could be the last of the game here at McDonald Jones Stadium. Everyone on the edge of their seat. Rebecca Burrows standing over the free kick, delivering. Towards the front post, Tash Pryor can't quite get there. And Sham Karmas clears it with the last kick of the game. And they share the points at McDonald Jones Stadium with a dramatic finish, a poetic finish, as that woman right there, Cass Davis, levels it for her side. A captain's goal, a poetic goal in game 132. The Jets' leading Liberty A-League appearance maker. It just had to be. They share the points. Western Sydney get their first of the season. And at McDonald, McDonald Jones Stadium, it is Newcastle Jets 1, Western Sydney 1. Wow. Take a breath and relive these moments right here. This was it. In the second half, Mindy Barbieri stinging the palms of Sham Karmas. Millen Hammond, a lively interaction off the bench. Almost found its way in off the cross before hitting the crossbar. And this opening the scoring. Vicky Bruce curling it off the free kick, heading it into the bottom left corner. What a moment for her. Her first Liberty A League goal in just her third game. Someone who's played all over the globe. A special moment for her, the American. The Western Sydney Wanderers thought they were on to one. They thought they were on to a winner before the Jets had something to say about it. Libby Copas Brown strong towards the back end of the game. Sham Karmas with a busy day. And this 
sit back, relax, and enjoy. Cass Davis in game 132. Curly off the volley. Into the top left corner. It does not get better than that. The football gods smiling down on Cass Davis in a milestone game for her. A fairly slow first half, but boy, did it come to life in the second. Plenty of shots on target for the Western Sydney Wanderers as they get their first points of the campaign. And Newcastle Jets save their bacon right at the end thanks to a milestone goal from Cass Davis. A magical moment here in the Liberty A-League as it ends in a very happy Cass Davis. Newcastle Jets 1, Western Sydney 1.